Um, the other thing we're talking about, last thing we're talking about in baseball is Trevor Bauer. Um, there was the news first off, the big news that he signed with the uh, LA Dodgers. I believe your tweet was uh, Jake of what is what even is money um, yeah. because of how ridiculous the contract is. But before we talk about what he means for the Dodgers, yeah, there was news today that apparently the uh, the New York Mets. Um, I'm just going to read the story from the New York Post. Um, there was a time in the final 24 hours of negotiations in which the Mets believed they had reached an agreement with Trevor Bauer. Three sources told the Post. They felt uh, terms had been approved by both sides and they were working with one uh, one of his agents, um, John Federoit, um, towards finalizing the details. But there was no term sheet signed. A key element to uh, materialize a contract um, was more formally agreed upon, and there were and there were the Dodgers. Um, and by Thursday night, the Dodgers had gone from lurking to pouncing, um, beginning the final push that would result in them landing the best starter in free agency on Friday. Los Angeles sensed uh, if it was close to an even bid between the Dodgers and the Mets that Bauer would prefer the Southern California roots to the Dodgers near certain championship con- uh, con- championship contention and modern pitching program. Um, what are your takes on this? Do you f- kind of feel for the Mets or is this something to where it's like a, yeah, you got to get them to sign that sheet, my guy. Hey, Mets going to Met, right? Am I right? I <laughs> mean, hey, how did Fred, 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 how did Fred, Fred feel about that? Today? Well, I, I uh, we'll get into this, but Fred <laughs> and I have, Fred and I have pretty similar feelings about, the Mets and Trevor Bauer. Okay. I think it's, I said it on the show on Friday. I thought paying him more than $30 million was too much. Mm-hmm. He got 40, 40 <laughs> first year, 45. He is mm-hmm. the highest paid player in the MLB. I'm yeah. sorry. He, he's going to be the third pitcher. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It's just, what is money? They want to make what? sure they repeat. That's what that I means. said. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay, we'll stick on the Mets before I get to that point. Yeah. The, the Mets, I, like I said, I think their state, their, their outlook on the, on the season is the same with or without Trevor Bauer. I mm-hmm. think they're the third best team. No, I, mm, they're borderline fourth, fifth best team. I still think the Braves, the Padres and the Dodgers are better than them. Even if they added Trevor, Bauer, I believe they are better than them. Cause I don't believe their back end bullpen is going to hold up, especially mm-hmm. if Edwin Diaz is their closer. Yeah. I mean, he had a good season. It was a 60 game season. He had 23 appearances. Calm mm-hmm. down people. I just yeah I the Mets are good they're not great I think they they need a couple more a year more or two to keep building the team they have they need to now what they need to do is before spring training starts you need to have Francisco Lindor signed to a new contract for eight nine ten years however long you want so what you traded for the man now just get the deal done Mm -hmm. yeah that's I mean the Mets are the Mets they're gonna met Mets gonna met well and I mean. You said it like the thing that I take away what you said is with the Dodgers, like they just like when I saw the $40 million, I was like, they want to make sure they win the World Series because like we've been talking like the way you win the World Series is pitching. And now what? He's (gasps) going to be their third starter. They're going to have four starters. What? Hold on, I gotta, I just gotta say, last time we talked about the Dodgers, mm-hmm. I don't know uh, if he's in the Twitch chat today. I was told the Dodgers don't make short term uh, improvement and they wouldn't sign Bauer. And I said, Trevor Bauer seems just about like a Dodger move. And he's yeah. like, and whoever it was says, they don't make these kind of moves. They only make long term success moves. Well, they just signed Trevor Bauer to a three year deal with opt outs the first and second year. And the reason why I look at this is. Uh... You look at this team, what, the last, let me, let, let, let me see here. The last, what, five seasons? This will be six. Um, I'm going to fact check myself really quick before I say something that isn't right. Um, 2016, yeah, that is right. So basically, you look at this Dodger team. 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. And 2020, that is five seasons. They've either been in the NLCS, 2016 lost to the World Series champion Cubs, 2019 lost to the World Champion Nationals. The other three years they were in the World Series, losing their two to the Astros, well, getting cheated out of one, um, and then losing to the uh, Red Sox, and then winning last year. Like, this is a team that. 
even before the year, many people would say, yeah, just pencil them in for the NLCS. They are that good of a team. Um, Now with the pitching moves that they've made, now bringing in Bauer, I look at this and I go, if they make the World Series, like the only team in my mind they have to get through, Atlanta Braves fans, cover your ears, um, is the San Diego Padres. If they can get past the Padres and they are in the World Series, I don't know if there's a team on the other side that could go ahead and beat this team in a World Series. They There might be an AL team that wins about one, maybe two games at most against this team. I don't know how you're beating this team four times unless I, uh, there's injuries. I, I had I put out a tweet also that mm-hmm. the one Bauer signed and said, good, good job, Padres, you tried. Hey, you tried. <laughs> everybody, everybody, if they stay healthy, guess what? You tried. Good. You're not beating a lineup with Corey Seager, Mookie Betts, and Cody Bellinger, and then a pitching rotation of Walker Bueller, mm-hmm. Trevor Bauer, and uh, Clayton Kershaw. I'm sorry. It's just not happening. I... And they, it's not happening. I'm sorry. And I know that I, the Padres are great and all. And mm-hmm. I might look stupid in it nine months from now. Mm-hmm. But if, if the Padres stay healthy, I mean, that's the big thing yeah. all, every year. If they're healthy and they go out with that lineup they have and this pitching rotation, no, nah, it's a wrap. It's over. No, I'm telling you, I cannot wait for Padres, Dodgers, and I'll see us. I'll well, the Padres right are going to choke, and it's going to be the Braves, Dodgers. <sighs> see, I don't think so. Like, I hope I can clip this in nine months and just look oh, like a fucking Oh, we will, genius. because remember, remember when I clipped myself uh, when the Nationals won in 2019? Do you remember that, Jake? Yes, I, I had a podcast. I'm not even Dan worried about it. And I was like, <laughs> and all the Cubs, I'm not even worried about the Nationals. Give me the Nationals in the wild card. Oh. Um, well, I should have been worried about the Rockies is who yeah. I should have been worried about. Um, and then, the, you know, the Nationals, I was rooting for it at that point. I'm like, go win the World Series. I want to be that right. I want that meme to be so right. GD, I remember that. Um, yeah, I, I fucking said that. But like. I feel like the Padres are the only team in baseball that can contend with the Dodgers. And the only reason I say that is you look at the first two matchups, Blake Snell and you Darvish, because they're probably going to be the one, two for the Padres. Am I wrong? Uh, you said, wait, who uh, you say Snell that? and Darvish will probably be the one, two for the pods. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. So like what that means, it's going to be Snell versus Kershaw, which Kershaw's a guy, if you could get to him, you could win that game. Uh, so, like, I give the Padres a chance in that one. You Darvish versus, uh, what, Waka Bueller would be their second one? Waka Bueller? Uh, Bueller's probably going to be their one, honestly. So. Okay, so yeah. then Bueller, Snell, Kershaw versus Darvish. Those are the two, the two games where, like, if the Padres can steal one or two with those pitching matchups... Yeah, that's how they beat the Dodgers. If they lose those games, no way you're fucking beating them after that point. Um, but like I said, there's no team in the AL that I feel like has the firepower to go up with the Dodgers if they if they face them in a World Series, if they face them in a best yeah. of uh, seven series. I wouldn't argue. I would say, I mean, the only team I'm the Yankees have the firepower offensively. It's how, how are Kluber and Tyone going to pitch this year? And how is Severino going to look coming back from injury? Mm -hmm. Cause I mean, if Tyone goes back to his old form and Kluber even becomes half of what he used to Garrett Cole versus Walker Bueller. That's a fantastic game. Mm -hmm. Clayton Kershaw versus uh, Tyone probably. And then you'd have uh, Bauer versus uh Kluber or Severino depending on who comes back so it's a lot of ifs but then the problem is is that the pod the Dodgers also have like the best bullpen in baseball which it yeah. it's it, you know, Bruce Star Gratterall and Kenley Jansen <laughs> and Blake Trinan I'm like what are you what are you supposed to do against this team mm-hmm. they just, if they stay healthy this is like the Golden State Warriors when Kevin Durant went there like huh. they just in, they just in California they just won the World Series and they signed the Cy Young what no it's not supposed to happen Mm -hmm. it's and it's not even like it's just oh and they gave him 40 million dollars like i would say if it's any other team holy overpay but it's the fucking dodgers so what is money because money is nothing to them so it's just oh it hurts my brain like and you look at it too like the two teams that beat them in the world series the astros were stealing signs but they were still led by uh verlander and keichel um we're playing very well on that team um, I can't remember if Luke Gregerson was coming off the uh, out of the bullpen for him or if he was starting. Probably coming off the bullpen would be my assumption. He's an Illinois guy. I think he was fucking, like, lived in Illinois, not the college. Um, 
but like then you look at the uh, the Red Sox, and let's see their pitchers. I wish they would just give me a uh, rotation on Wikipedia. Um, Eduardo Rodriguez was a starter, right? Rodriguez, Price, yep. Porcello, Kimbrel out of the bullpen, fucking closing out games. Um, those are pretty much their big three, though, right? Rodriguez, Price, and Porcello. Drew Pomeranz uh, too was on that team. Yeah, that would that Porcello had won a Cy Young around then, so yeah, yeah, he was he was their big guy. Like yeah. that's how you do it, and I just I don't know if there's an AL team. Wait, was Sale there at that time? Uh, let me click on it again. I don't think or Sale he post. would have to, right? He would have to be right. He was not. Oh, yes, he was. Yes, he was. Chris yeah. Sale. Okay, right. I, was I gonna skipped say, right, Chris Sale I skipped right I over like, that name. I skipped. I was right like, over. I'm pretty sure Chris Sale was the ace when I was. Because like, I think that was that was his last year in Boston was 2019. Yeah. Well, he's still there. He's just hurt. Yeah. Well, I mean, hasn't played. Hey, hey, come on. He might come back this year, and they might yeah. get fourth place. He might. <laughs> he might get fourth place. Um. But yeah, it's just like deep. Am I being too over dramatic here, or is this just because of usually teams have two starters? Like usually it's been like, wow, man, Clayton Gershaw and Waka Bueller. That's a that's a one two punch. Waka Bueller, Waka, 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 Waka. <laughs> But uh, Walker, right? Walker Bueller. Walker Bueller. <laughs> um, Bueller. Usually it's like, wow, those two guys. But now it's like, oh, you have four of them. Yeah, it was you like the last was, it was it was Verlander and Cole. Wow. Yeah. And now you're like, oh, okay. So how are we supposed? <laughs> huh? What? Who? Mm-hmm. No, that's not fair. It's that's through. Uh, I mean, that's. I, I'm out of words. I, the Dodgers. What did I say? The Dodgers only do good business. This is good business. <laughs> They're like, oh, the NL Cy Young is just sitting there in February. Hey, Trevor. Well, well, we have more money laying around. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, here you go. It's just it. I mean, and people. I want to say this too. People are like. Oh, now they're not going to be able to afford Cody Bellinger and Corey Seager. I say, what? Who? What do? You, yes, they will. They're the fucking Dodgers. Yeah. If they need to pay, the cap Corey don't Seager, mean nothing. If, yeah, if they, there is no cap. I know. <laughs> if, yeah, I was going to say, if they need to pay Corey Seager and Cody Bellinger, they don't need to pay Cody Bellinger until mm-hmm. 2024. And Seager's after this season. They'll pay Seager. Kershaw will be gone by the time they have to pay Bellinger, mm-hmm. and Fowler will probably also be gone. So again, I bet you they re-sign their best players. And I, I would still think we talked about them last time. Justin Turner is probably still coming back to this team. Oh, I was going to I was going to ask you about that cuz apparently there's an LA Times article that says Trevor Bauer signing could end Justin Turner's Dodgers tenure. It's the Dodgers. I'm not going to put it past them spending more money. So, mm-hmm. I they could resign him. There's been interest from other teams from what I've read. So, it could I I, I'd still probably put my money on him going back to the Dodgers just cuz mm-hmm. I mean, why wouldn't he take He's already made enough money just go win another ring. Yeah. I mean, that's literally what's going to happen. And not I mean, wear a it, mask, too. Remember that. Uh, and also have COVID yeah. and not wear a mask. My, like, I'm, not, I'm, I'm telling you, Jake, my mom doesn't watch sports much unless it's like she watched the Super Bowl yesterday, and that's yeah. probably all the sports she'll watch. I still remember when I came up after that game, and she was like, I need a Twitter. <laughs> and I'm like, why do you need a Twitter? She's like, I need to tweet about that baseball guy who wasn't wearing a mask when he had COVID and his coach has cancer or had cancer. And that I was like, wild. you don't need a Twitter, mom. You don't need to be you on don't Twitter. Need a Twitter. <laughs> I mean, that is... You have a Facebook. That's enough. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Facebook. Great. I mean, if you want to, if you want to feed your delusion, just go to Facebook. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. I mean, yeah, if the Dodgers get Justin Turner back, I mean they don't even need him back at this point because mm-hmm. fuck their team is. Yeah. They're gonna Gavin Lux is gonna come up this year too, who's like the number two prospect in baseball, and he's on their team. It's just like, oh, the Dodgers have another guy who's a top ten prospect in baseball. Oh, they have another guy. Oh, they how in the okay, sorry. Also <laughs> have to get this off when they traded for Mookie Betts. How the fuck did they end up getting David Price and Bruce Star Gratterall in that trade? What the fuck? Red Sox, were you just like here? Win everything, thank you. <laughs> win like, everything, just here. Take our best guy. I just ugh, fuck the Red Sox. Ch- we still cool. Boston's still cool. Here, take our best player. Are we still cool. We, we still cool. Uh, you pay later. This year, they're, this year they're gonna be like, who wants JD Martinez? Here you go. Who wants him? <laughs> who? And we're not resigning him because we're not gonna spend money. So who wants him? Oh, I man. just I. I, I'm going to ask the question because it's the title of the video. 
but I feel like it's dumb. Uh, Dodgers a World Series lock now. <laughs> they better be <laughs> they better be minus money on futures. Like if you're betting a future World Series winner, the Dodgers better be like minus 150 because. I mean, they're probably plus 200 would be my assumption. Uh, that's, spe- that's... Speaking of that, I forgot to ask Dave that. I'll ask you this. Mm. Um, did you see the Super Bowl odds mm. for next year? Um, Chiefs are Chiefs are plus 500. Bucks are plus 950. My biggest question was, do you put a f- do you put five dollars on the Packers, who are uh, I mean, plus I'd be more enticed. But I'd be more enticed to put five dollars on the Rams. So. Rams are plus thirteen hundred. Five dollars would be a sixty-five dollar payout. Yeah, I'd be I'd be tempted to just put a hundred dollars on that and just let it ride. And just let it ride. Just be like that's that's that's. I mean, for the future. I, I don't want to bet against. I don't want to bet against the. <laughs> that's I don't want to bet against Jake's problem. <laughs> Listen, I already le- learned what happened with betting against Tom Brady went last yeah. night. But I mean, the Rams with the best defense in football, adding an actual competent quarterback. I mean, maybe. Maybe I'm overblowing it. Maybe I should put on the Saints and lose my money. You know? So I'm trying to get what Mad Rogue is saying. I mean, the theory is Mookie was given as an under the table punishment for the 2018 World Series for the the Red Sox cheating scandal. Is that what you're trying to say? Is that what you're trying to say, Jake? Oh, I couldn't the Rickets do this and say, oh, that's the Cubs. No, the... I mean, the theory is Mookie was given an. I don't know. Because like they were a part of like the cheating stuff, but I thought it was the Astros that had it worse. Yeah, I mean the Yankees and the Red Sox were also reported, but I don't mm-hmm. think either of them got fined or anything like that. So yeah, I mean, yet again, shady things do happen. But uh, everybody cheats. Everybody cheats. <laughs> hey, Eddie Guerrero, who gets Eddie, Eddie Guerrero said it best, right? If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Mm-hmm. And you're not cheating if you don't get caught. So yeah, if you ain't cheating, you don't get caught. Uh, any final thoughts, Jake, before we wrap up the show? I wish I was a Dodgers fan. <laughs> hey, you can, hey, I'm going to be Tim here for a second. You can just jump over them for a year, right? Because that's yeah, what you do, right? Yeah. You don't like anybody yeah. from your own. And team. I'm very happy the Mets got fucked over and they're still the second best team in New York. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, but that's going to do it for the show today. I want to thank Dave for being on. I want to thank Jake for coming on and talking some baseball uh, with me today. Remember, join the Discord. Greatest community in the universe. Join that down below in the description or exclamation Discord into Twitch chat. If you'd like to support us, patreon.com backslash MVP vids is how you can go ahead and do that. You can also throw us a sub on Twitch where we are live each and every Monday through Friday, twitch.tv backslash MVP vids. We are also on YouTube at MVP sports. Thank you guys for being as great as you are. Thank you, Jake, for uh, talking baseball with me today, being my special guest. Uh, And we'll catch you all next time. Uh, What do I usually say? Have a good day, everybody. There you go.